In this video, I'm going to look at the easiest way of rigging uh, an object uh, with joints. And we use something called bind skin. Uh, so this is one technique of uh, rigging, which we'll get into more in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so let's get started. And I'm just going to use a cylinder as my demonstration today. So I'm going to drag out a cylinder. And for this to be able to bend, we need to have more divisions um, uh, going upward. So it's only this one, these one big faces here. So let's go to the poly cylinder, and I need some more height subdivisions, and I'll just drag it up about 20. <clears throat> okay. Um, I can also round the cap if I want to, and drag up some subdivisions on the cap as well. All right. Next. Um, let's look at adding joints. So if we come over to the rigging dropdown, so typically we're on modeling, I'm just going to move this away here. Um, go to rigging and we'll see that we get skeleton and we have one called create joints. I'm going to select that and you would never want to add joints in the perspective view because uh, we don't really know where they're going. You can kind of see if I lay down a few joints, it's going to be unpredictable. So I'm going to undo that. <clears throat> and instead, I'm going to go to either the side or the front view. For this object, it does not matter. So with the, uh, I'll go to the front view here. And if I place my first joint by just clicking, you notice that I can't see it. So I need to be on shading and then x-ray joints and when I get to x-ray joints now you can see that I can see the joint that I just laid down the quick button for that x-ray joints is right here so in this front view now my joints will be um, able to be seen through the object so I'm just gonna evenly space them out approximately uh, and make five joints that'd be fine now I'm going to go press spacebar and I'm going to go to my side view. Now it looks like I can't see my joints, so I'm going to go to shading, x-ray joints. And notice I don't see them, and it's because they're all the way over here. So that's important to know. Uh, just because you drew them correctly in the front view doesn't mean that they're perfect in the side view. So I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to move them over. Let me get closer here just so you can see. Just in case, uh, if you're not selected on it, this is the first joint that we laid down. So if I select that, I like to call it the mother joint, or it's the parent of all of these children. If I select one of these other joints, it's only going to be the parent of the ones above it, because I laid these out going up. So if I just move this one, it's going to move all of these ones above it. So I need to move this whole row of joints. So I'm going to click on the full parent here and move them. And I should be able to see them through the cylinder because I added the x-ray joints function. And now you can see I'm correctly in the middle on the side view and I'm correctly in the center on the front view. I'm going to come back to the perspective view now and I can't see them. So I'm going to hit that quick command key right here x-ray joints just so that I can see it and how do I um, bind this together because right now if I rotate this joint it's only rotating the joint itself and not affecting the object so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go, come up to well first we need to select the full joint so that's at the parent right at the bottom here and hold shift and click on the geometry so let me do that again I'm gonna click on the, the mother or the parent joint here and hold shift and click on the geometry when you do it correctly the joint should be white and the geometry should be in green if you did that the opposite way if I select this first and then the joints it would be the opposite but that's not what we want we want to select the joint the parent joint, hold shift, and then select the geometry. And we're going to come up to the word skin. And you'll see bind skin. And I'm going to click that. 
it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I take my rotate tool and I maybe select the middle joint here and rotate it on one of the axes, you'll notice that it's affecting our object now. And I can rotate this and I can try all of these joints out to just make sure that they're working. Okay, And the parent joint would obviously move the whole thing. So this is uh, the easiest way to joint an object through binding skin. As we move forward, we'll get into some more advanced jointing and rigging of characters. So uh, stay tuned and give this a try. Good luck.